Hello, we are back with a new video. Um, I have some stuff to show you. Um, I went, made two trips today. Um, both really cool trips. Um, not all the cards I'm going to show you are all the cards I picked up today because I already filed the other ones away. But let's get started. So my second trip of the day, actually, I went to this guy's house nearby who had a bunch of vintage cards. And I picked up a lot of 1955 tops from him for $50. So here's what we got. We got Tom Brewer. Never heard of him. We got Lauren Pepper. Or Hugh Pepper. And although it looks like Lauren Pepper. Eh, who knows. We got Bob Lennon. We got Camilo Pascal. For the Yankees, we got Stephen Carley. We got Harry Haddix Jr. Frank Sullivan. Uh, Roy Seavers. Who I've heard of, actually. Bob Turley for the Yankees. Alex Grammis. Mel Parnell. What a cool name, Mel Parnell. Dale Long. Dale. <laughs> Dick Bordowski, Bob Klein, Jim Robertson. Like I said, these cards are not in the best of shape. Some of them look better than others. Uh, Harry Perkowski, but you can still read the backs very well on most of these cards. Um, Gene Woodling. Who was just traded to Baltimore, of course, after this card. Uh, Gail Wade. He got tripped up because his full name is something I've never seen before. Gaylord, I guess. I don't know. Frank Smith. And look, somebody wrote my name right on the back. Um, Bill... Consolo, missing corner there, completely just gone. Uh, Bob Trice, Dave Hoskins, Ray Hibbert, Tom Wright, Elmer Vallo, Red Cress. Willie Miranda, Ray Narleski, Joe Coleman, Wally <laughs> Westlake. That is a freaking 50s baseball player name right there. Now batting, number 22, Wally Westlake. Jack Harshman. Uh... Albert Rube Walker, who sounds familiar to me, um, but I don't know. Gus Zerneil, Zerneil, Bob Milkenen, Lou Ortiz, Richard Hall. Uh, Ted Lapelco, Lapiso, Lapicio, Grady Hatton, Bob Borowski, Gene Conley, Chuck Harmon, Don Massey, Frank House, Milt Boiling. Rene Bertoia, 
Charles Bishop, Charlie White, Chuck Stobbs. This is a cool name too. Wendy McCall. That's pretty cool. Corky Valentine. That's another one. Looks like somebody was uh, pinned those up with like a staple or something. Corky Valentine. Bill Taylor. Uh, Lewis Limmer. Ray Jablonski. Billy O'Dell. Gare A Alley. Carl Olson. Bill Glynn. Uh, Leo Kelly. Keeley. Billy Gardner. Put this one to the side, show you that one last. Bobby Hoffman. Fred Marsh. Fears Fian. Fane. Ferris Fane. Bob Keegan. Jim Hagen. Or Hegan. Leo Keeley again. Bob Bronowski again, I think. And Ted Lapicio again. Now, the last card in this little set here um, is actually a Hall of Famer. Uh, he's a pitcher, and on this card, he's playing for the uh, Cleveland, soon to be renamed Indians, probably. But this is Hal Newhauser. He is indeed in the Hall of Fame. So, pretty cool, Hal Newhauser. Now, there are two other cards I got here, which are more modern cards. Um, I have a friend who owns a shop pretty close by, so I swung out there today. Um, picked some stuff up from her, but she had Series 2 in jumbo boxes, so I bought two packs. Now, I've heard that these Series 2 boxes are structured, meaning the hits are always at the bottom. So, you know, being friends with the owner, I was like, hey, I heard this theory that, like, you know, certain packs are definitely the hit packs and these. And she said, yeah, I heard that, too. Let's test it out. So she pulls the bottom two packs out of the box. Um, first pack, when I went to go open it, I could feel it right away. I was like, there's something in this pack. So I'll hold off on that one. The second card, though, I didn't know would be in there, but it was this gold Bat Relic, Ryan Sandberg, 34 out of 50. So from a $20 pack, you know, it's a decent hit. He's a Hall of Famer, um, Cubs legend, um, with a Bat Relic as well. So not a bad card. But that I pulled second. The card I pulled first, this is the top five craziest pulls I've ever pulled. So, in order, in my opinion, of the craziest cards I ever pulled, my Jeter Auto was huge. Because at the time I pulled it, I was young and whatever. He had signed significantly less than he has now. My Corey Seager Green Auto that I had pulled uh, to 99 out of Bowman Chrome. And then probably this card. So, this is a manufactured relic. Which you might be thinking, oh, I hate those. Why Why even bother? Why are you going to show us this? Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to do my best to kind of... Slow roll it. So you see that it's autoed. Alright. There's the patch. And maybe you can see the name. Maybe you can't. But that is a Fernando Tatis Jr. Relic Patch Auto to 10. Numbered 5 of 10. Now hopefully you can see that. Uh, can't get it to focus, but yeah, 5 of 10. Crazy, crazy, insane card. Uh, there's one posted on eBay right now for $500. Not sure if I'll get that out of this, but... You know, either way, man, I'm cool with keeping it. I got a huge Tatis collection right now, um, and I'm cool with letting it go. So if you're interested in anything in this video besides the Yankees and the Newhauser, um, please let me know. And, uh, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter, at M-O-L-O-R-A-N-G-E. That's where I do a lot of business. 
I don't really check my YouTube comments here, so make sure you go follow me over there. All right, peace.